Hello everyone, welcome to EP Physics, Mastering Vectors in Minutes. In this video, I am going to go over how to add and subtract vectors. So first things first, when I'm referring to adding and subtracting, they're actually the same thing if you just look at the directions. Um, all of it, when it's expressed in the polar coordinates, it'll be uh, something added to another, whether or not it's a negative value or a positive value. So uh, let's look at this for instance. Um, if we got a, uh, for example, four meters um, in the positive y direction, and if we add another vector in which it is uh, three meters in the positive x direction, uh, what would be the resulting vector? If we were to add those two vectors from what I mentioned uh, graphically in the um, polar coordinate system, we would use something called a head-to-tail method. So we would add one vector, regardless of which one, uh, just on the polar coordinate, and then we add the second vector at the head of the first vector. And then we could draw a line um, from the direction of where the origin to where the head of the last uh, added vector. That would be your resultant vector. And if you can see uh, from uh, the screen right now, the green arrow is what it represents, the resultant vector of the two vectors that we just added together. And of course, um, that um, finding the resultant vector in graphically is uh, pretty easy, uh, but let's do it in a mathematical way. So how do we find the resulting vector in this case, given that uh, we got a vector that goes in the positive y direction for meters, and the other one goes in the positive x direction for three meters. Now, we could use uh, Pythagoras' theorem. So r equals to square root of x squared plus y squared, in which the x represents the x components of all of the vectors, and the y equates to all of the y components. So if we uh, substitute all of that in, uh, we got uh, 5 meters as the resultant magnitude of the vector. Now for the resultant angle, um, so in this case we could rely on our uh, basic trigonometry and you know that uh, with the x and y we can have um, uh, uh, to find the, the theta we could do theta equals 2 arctan uh, opposite over adjacent or in this case uh, the y component over the x component so which is 4 over 3 and theta would thus equal to 36.9 degrees so therefore our, our resultant vector is 5 meters uh, 36.9 degrees Now, of course, um, the problem that uh, we've just went through is pretty simple, and most of those problems on your test will not be that simple. So let's look at a more complex problem. So here, we would want to find the resultant vector of two vectors that are added to each other. So vector A and vector B where vector A equals to 5 meters, 110 degrees, and vector B is 3 meters, 30 degrees. Again, if we um, do it graphically, we would actually um, have put all of those through head to tail method and draw the line as a resultant vector. And if you 
get it properly, you could probably see uh, your solution might be similar to the green arrow that I have put on this uh, screen right now. So mathematically, uh, remember that we actually have to break all of them into um, X and Y components. So how do we do that is we add all of the uh, cosine formulas that we've talked about together in order to get the resultant X component and all of the sine formulas together to get our, our Y component. So for our X component of the resultant vector, we would have 5 cos 110 degrees plus 3 cos um, 30 degrees, which coincides with the x component of vector a and b. And then our resultant x component is 0 0.89 meters. For y component, uh, we would have 5 times sine 110 degrees plus 3 times sine 30 degrees, of which our y component of the resultant vector would give us 6.2 meters. So now we would end up into um, some things that are really familiar um, almost the same way on how to do it as the last problem is uh, we use these x and y components uh, to find the uh, the resultant using Pythagoras theorem and the resultant angle using arctan so our resultant uh, if you substitute all of the numbers you would get 6.26 meters and a resultant angle once you substitute all of the values in the in the uh, formula you would get 81.8 degrees and uh, thank you for um, listening to our video um, this concludes uh, the lecture if you are interested in more studying materials, um, please download our physics app and other AP uh, course study apps. Um, this can be found uh, in the links in our um, video description through YouTube. Uh, also, um, if you want to uh, keep up to date with our latest um, videos for studying purposes uh, please subscribe to our youtube channel and um, please share our videos uh, via twitter and facebook thank you